the President of Exterior Basics Corporation, the Board of Director of Sun Energy Developers Asia Incorporated, Cebu Pride, the one and only, the President Cebu of uh, Cebu Chamber of Commerce and Industry Incorporated, Mr. J. Ya Yovalios. Let's give a big round of applause, please. Kuya Mike for that very kind introduction. No? Murag maminaw yun mo na ako kay wapo kayong introduction ni Kuya Mike. <laughs> First of all, let me acknowledge uh, our National President of uh, Philippine Eagles, uh, Kuya Ronald F. De Los Santos. <laughs> Sir, it's an honor to meet you and with your leadership na uh, you, this uh, program is happening uh, for our country. So, uh, very good program. Uh, it's an investment for the future of our country. Uh, so, with the right leadership, things happen. Yes. Thank you, Kayo. Uh, uh, of course, uh, Dr. Mission. Uh, Dr. Erasmo, Erasmo, Kuya Mike Ismenya. Of course, my uh, business partner, Kuya Mike uh, Basubas. No? Uh, we are, uh, we have been partners in business for maybe close to or 20 plus years, <laughs> close to 30 years. Na mi na partner ni ni Kuya Mike. Uh, I have a, a prepared speech here, but while listening to, to the speeches, uh, is it okay if I don't read my speech? I want to speak from the heart. Okay. Now, first of all, there are many things that has been said already. I do not wish to add to the statistics, to, to all of those. No? But uh, one thing that is very striking is uh, the song, no? Service to Humanity, and that is the embodied in your, uh, in the song of the, uh, yeah, in the hymn no? of the, the Fraternal Eagles. What a fitting program as a service to humanity, the first 100 days, a uh, 1,000 days program for feeding, because uh, according to our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal, the youth is the future of our country. But asa man magsugod ang youth, the first 1,000 days uh, of its inception. So, the second thing that it struck, struck me is strong brotherhood. No? The eagles, the brotherhood of the eagles is very meaningful because of the things that the people in the organization do. Otherwise, if there is no sense of mission, uh, what is the meaning? It becomes a social club or happy happy lang. But uh, I believe, because I also know no, with Kuya Mike and Kuya Ricky, uh, they always tell me of the activities of the Eagles. No? Even my boxing trainer uh, is a member of the Eagles and he posts Many things. Uh, they go to the northern part of Cebu. They they do charity works. No? So one of the things that was mentioned is impact no? projects with impact. So uh, I look at the meaning of the word impact. What's my meaning? Aning impact. The meaning of the word impact, according to Mr. Webster is it is a uh, force no? a strong force colliding with something or colliding with uh, an object forcefully so mona siya ang meaning sa impact so it is a strong uh, thing in this case the Philippine Eagles and everyone in mention, no? including 
civil chamber, for example, including the whole business community, this is the strong force to collide with something forcefully. So, lindot kay tong i, as explained by Dr. Mission, that the, the, we have to make an impact to not only the future of our country, the children, but also we have to make an impact to the mothers nga, that is uh, rearing the child from the womb up to the first 1,000 days because I also heard the word investment. And there is a return of that investment. Because if we do not do this, kung wala impact sa, sa mga inahan o sa mga bata, sayang ang strong force like the eagles and the business community if there is no impact. Because if there is no impact, we can already uh, foresee that in the next so many years we will still have a problem. Huh? So that is just the beginning of my speech. Introduction like that. No, no, I was just joking. So anyway, let me tell you about a little bit about Cebu Chamber. The vision of Cebu Chamber is to be the engine of Cebu's business growth towards global competitiveness. Okay, so what are the keywords? Engine of Cebu's business growth towards global competitiveness. There was a comparison as presented by Dr. Ramishon Ganina. How are we? Wow. Well, in in the world we are number nine in terms of stunting do you i i imagine what well, number nine there are so many countries in the world and we are number nine in terms of stunting so we are not competitive because our workforce is not wise enough is not aware enough so, mabiyaan juta. If we don't do something about this, goodbye global competitiveness. Now, we have further defined what is global competitiveness. So, it means for Cebu Chamber, it means world-class businesses or world-class enterprises, world-class business community, and more importantly, world-class people. World-class businesses, world-class business community, world-class people. It begins actually in the reverse order. We have to create world-class people first so that we will have world-class businesses, so that we will have a world-class business community. So this is very well aligned sa mission and the vision of the chamber. That is why when Kuya Ricky and Kuya Mike called me, uh, Sir, uh, we would like to invite you for this. What's up, man? What, what is this? So they explained, Kuya Mike explained to me. Actually, nasa ko, I have, actually, the, for the whole day, I have five meetings today. Um, I did not hesitate that I must go there because this is very important. So I, I am. I told uh, Koya Ronald, uh, Koya Ronald, uh, thank you so much for making this your flagship program for your term for the Eagles because the impact actually. While we can measure how many mothers, how many children at the start, no? the commitments, we can measure that. But one thing definitely we cannot measure, 
around the table when Kuya Mike was speaking, one thing that we cannot really foresee is uh, how many of these children will become businessmen. Correct. How many of them will become leaders, politicians, good leaders? How many of them will become president of the Eagles and probably president sa Cebu Chamber? Because the impact actually can mean there is hope for them. How do you quantify hope? Future. How do you quantify the possibilities, the opportunities for these children and their families later on? Okay, if they are well nurtured and they have all the potential, even their children and their children dili na 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 to quantify. We can no longer quantify this. So when I said the word impact, a force, a strong force, this is a strong force. This room is a strong force that will collide with the beneficiaries forcefully. Then I think we can have hope the possibility in the future is endless and that is actually service to humanity. So with that, again, I am very happy to be here. Uh, I told uh, Koya Ronald that I want to get the materials. I will cascade to the board of the chamber and then we will also uh, discuss these things. No? On a personal level, kami ni Kuya Mike, business partners ni almost 30, 30 years na siguro plus. No? Uh, uh, it doesn't, uh, no? uh, we don't look uh, that part. No? <laughs> we, we look young. But uh, kami ni Kuya Mike, because we've been partners for a long time, uh, we have the same well, mindset. So when he commits, uh, you can be assured that I also commit personally. Yes. So and then we will discuss in the in the chamber. So again, I am very happy to be here, and I am very proud uh, to be a part of this launching. And ako uh, nang I already said thank you to Kuya Ronald and uh, to our uh, uh, officers of the many chapters, including the Bisaya, si Kuya. Uh, uh, regional, uh, our regional... Governors. Governors. Regional governors no, that are here sa Eagles. Thank you very much for inviting me and uh, good evening everyone.